everybody, it's Taz Deej. Super Bowl Sunday, uh, doing a little video here. I normally don't do two videos in a day, but uh, I was reading today's paper, and uh, there's actually an article in here that my wife brought to my attention, and uh, as a man, it kind of kind of got me right in the heart. Um, <clears throat> it's out of Centersville, uh, Utah. John the Toilet laid to rest at restaurant. John, a porcelain commode gunned down in an accidental shooting at a fast food restaurant bathroom, has died. His age was not immediately known. The toilet was shattered by a bullet January 12th when a man's gun fell from its holster as he was pulling up his pants, police said. Police do not plan to file criminal charges in connection with the incident. <clears throat> Christian Martinez, manager of the Carl's Jr., where John was gunned down, held a memorial service Friday at the restaurant. He gave away bottles of John's favorite toilet cleaner, Kaboom Bowl Blaster, to the eatery's first 50 patrons. A bountiful flower shop provided a large floral arrangement. <clears throat> As a man who's logged a lot of time in on a toilet seat, this really got me in the heart. And <clears throat> I wanted to kind of say a few things, you know, in, in memorial of John. Uh, I didn't know him personally, but you know, I can I can definitely sympathize with any man who ever whoever or woman whoever did come you know come to know John. Um, what, what what do you say about the guy? I mean, here's a guy. I mean, he literally took crap every day of his life from almost everybody he met. Not one person was ever nice to him. I mean, he usually left him filthy and just degrading and, you know, most people even offer up a courtesy flush. So, I mean, that's that takes a sturdy, sturdy, rock-solid guy to do that kind of a job every day. And, <clears throat> you know, think about the other things that he had to endure. I mean, think, think of all the drunks, all the alcoholics that this guy met in his lifetime. I mean, they, you know, the people that just stumble in there and rest the head on his bowl and just talk to him. I mean, you, you think about it. It's, uh, he was oftentimes the last person anybody confided in before they got married and the first person they confided in after they got divorced. I mean, John was more than a toilet. John was a counselor, and that's the truth. <clears throat> um, I guess there were some perks, though. I mean, you think about it. When it came to getting booty, this guy was top of the list. I mean, it's, Name me one person in the world that got more booty than this guy. I mean, literally almost everybody he met gave it up. That's just kind of how it worked. That was his personality. So, I mean, you know, we just, we got to give John the proper send off, and we can only hope that his replacement can do the same job that he did for as long as he did with half the amount of poise that John did. I mean, <clears throat> he's definitely got some serious porcelain to fill there. So, Say a prayer, raise a glass, fire up a green, do whatever it is you do for John the Commode. I'm Tat Steege, and I'm out. <laughs>